part two. Part two. Shalom, Israel. So how do we celebrate the first fruits when most of us don't have an agricultural farm or harvest any grains? And neither do we keep the laws of sacrificing, animal sacrificing, to offer up a burnt offering or fire offering to the Most High, as he has instructed Moshe to give to the children of Israel. But now Messiah has been raised from the dead and has become the first fruit of those having fallen asleep. For since death is through a man, resurrection of the dead is also through a man. For as all die in Adam, so also all shall be made alive in Messiah, and each in his own order. Messiah the first fruits, then those who are of Messiah at his coming. So what is the scripture saying? The scripture is saying now today, Yeshua is the first fruits. In Adam, all men die, but in Yeshua, all men is raised to life. Yeshua is the first fruits of the resurrection and then afterwards those who are in Messiah. So in this week, we are celebrating three distinct holidays, Passover, unleavened bread, first fruits. And because Yeshua is our resurrection and our redeemer, we are actually celebrating three distinct phases of our salvation. Our Passover is actually our justification. Our unleavened bread is the sanctification. The uh, first fruits is the glorification. That is when he was resurrected. So we're not making any offerings. We're not going to Jerusalem where they would usually celebrate every year to offer their burnt offerings. So then what are we going to do? You're going to offer up your first fruits. Offer up your first fruit of what you have. Let each one give as he purposes in his heart not of grief or of necessity, for Elohim loves a joyous giver. And Elohim is able to make all favor overflow toward you, that you always having all you need in every way, have plenty for every good work. So you see, you're still required to give your first fruit and you determine the amount. And Yeshua said, Give and it shall be given to you. A good measure, pressed down and shaken together and running over shall be put into your lap. For with the same measure with which you measure, it shall be measured back to you. From this high Sabbath, we start counting the Omer, which is the days that leads up to the next holiday, which is Shavuot, Pentecost or Feast of Weeks, which we count from the third day of first fruits which is the 50th day or the first day after the seventh Sabbath. May 28th, 